Hello everybody and welcome to Promise Gaming. Let's play some They Are Billions, a post-apocalyptic city builder survival game that I think is absolutely fantastic. We played it on Steamed a while ago, did a five hour stream as well, had a lot of fun. So I kind of want to jump back into things. Let's start up a, a new survival game. We're going to be playing on the Frozen Highlands today. Uh, pretty unforgiving, rough map. Really don't much care for it, but we have to unlock things, so we'll play it anyway. It's a little bit similar to the Dark Moorlands in that it's mountainous, so there are some good choke points you can take advantage of. That's a nice advantage. However, because it is so cold, all of your buildings require a lot more energy to keep them warm. Your units move slower. Um, and I think there is less fertile land for farms. So it's just rough all around. We're going to be playing with 100 days for our game mode. A bit challenging. Um, 100 days is not a lot of time. It's not as bad as 80 days, obviously, but it's, it's not great. So that's going to increase my difficulty a fair bit. And a medium population is fine. That's going to give me a total score factor of 140%. Uh, I don't really feel brave enough to go for a higher difficulty on a map that I haven't really mastered at this point. So I'm good with this. Let's just go ahead and start up a new game. If you have not seen They Are Billions, I highly recommend you check out my Steamed video first. Maybe the stream if you want to. You'll learn a bit about how this game works. Uh, as far as video length, I expect each video to be about 45 minutes. We'll try to go about a full 20 days in-game time. Uh, if we can. Oh, wow, we started right next to some spare gold. That's extremely nice for me. Um, yeah, I, I think this is the kind of game where I could make use of jump cuts, but it kind of takes away from the pacing. The big downside for me is that uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult to come with engaging commentary. Because this game is a bit of a marathon. Um, yes, you there are some short-term threats that you have to deal with. But there is also a... You always want to be thinking in the long term in preparation for the final wave, which is absolutely brutal. For this starting map, this actually is very favorable to me. Uh, there's, it looks like a good amount of, yep, there's a good amount of timber, some fertile land up here. Not a great amount of timber, actually, right now. I'm, actually, okay, we, we may have a small problem in terms of lumber right now, but there's a lot of wide open space for me to place down um, lots of buildings and such in the future, which is great. I like that a lot. So we need to start by placing down a bunch of tents. I think... We are going to place down probably a market and a bank right over here in this corner. Those are three by three. So I could safely place down a tent right here. That still leaves this area for a bank. I just realized that there's a stone patch here, which kind of messes this up. So you know what? Undo that. Let's see. Bank goes here. So we'll place here. And that would still let me put in a market like this. Okay. I'm just trying to plan this area out. Because markets and banks are very important. The uh, market reduces the food consumption of all nearby buildings. The bank increases the uh, gold production by 30% of all nearby buildings, which is pretty substantial. So I'm just trying to do a little bit of urban planning kind of early if we can. So I said that was a 3x3, three three, uh, which means we should be able to place something along here and be fine. Okay. We are lacking the food already. Wow, that did not take long. Okay, uh, I could place down a hunter's hut over here. And I think I have to because it's literally the only thing in range. Always scary when there is nothing at all in range at the beginning of the game. Okay, let's see. Looks like this area is more or less cut off with some water. Um, a good choke point already up over here, which I like. Let's see. Some oil pretty nearby. That's good. Let's go ahead and clear some of these things out. Uh, you are running headlong into danger. Looks like another really good choke point right over here, actually, that we can use. So we're going to have a lot of room for uh, expansion in the early game. What I do not have a lot of is going to be food. Lots and lots of food problems in the beginning of the game. If I can research farm tech and get down to, the, um, get down to this fertile land, then that certainly could help. But eesh, it's going to be a little while, and I can't get a lot of tents, which means I can't get a lot of gold. This actually will be a very good start, but is currently very brutal. So I'm going to go ahead and get probably two of you guys patrolling over here. Uh, let's set one up right here, and I'll have you patrol right like this. Let's have you go down over here. You explore to the southeast. Okay. So this way I'm sure that nothing's going to sneak by while I'm trying to figure this out. Since I already know that I'm more or less enclosed in this area. Let's find out what else is over here. Uh, looks like more trees. Is this closed off or is it still open? Looks like it is open. So this is going to be an area where things can come in and kill me. 
Uh, I need to get a couple of Tesla Towers out this direction ASAP. If I want to have any meaningful amount of food. So we have to do that. Um, I guess I could build one out here too, and that's a good idea. That would allow me to place down some sawmills in the early game. Gotcha. Alright, why don't you just kind of block off this area. While we continue to explore. So I see not much over here. I'm going to stock the soldier right here. Let's figure out what else is in the area. I'm looking for any easy, obvious areas of expansion. I see some trees. This area is not cut off, though, so that's not going to be great. I'm going to actually move you forward a tiny bit. There we go. Eh, maybe too much. Okay, how about this? Let's just do a quick patrol. I want to make sure that nothing accidentally sneaks by, because that would be, you know, murder. All right, Hunter's Cottage. I can place another one down over here for 17 food, and we have to. Because my people are basically starving, and I can't place down any more valuable tents. Uh, I could place down a sawmill, and I will. Four is terrible. Ten is okay. All right, I'll go for ten over there, and I guess six over here. Another Hunter's Lodge. Eleven food there. And ten food here. Okay. Good enough for the moment. It's not great. All right, so the commentary of this game is going to be a little bit tricky for me, um, just because it is so long. There are going to be points where I'm just kind of thinking to myself and probably not talking a lot, so just be aware. Uh, this is not going to be probably as engaging as some of the other uh, games that you do watch. I will do my best, I promise. But um, I do need to kind of focus a little bit. It's going to be very easy for me to tunnel vision. The more I talk, the more I'm going to make mistakes. It's just sort of an inevitability. I can accept that within reason, but I don't want people to yell at me in the comment section either, so <laughs> we'll be doing my darndest here. Uh, let's see, we can fit in another tent. We got our first mare. Uh, an extra food supply. You know what? Considering food is so bad right now, this is good. It's not going to have a very long-term advantage, but wooden walls and gates are super cheap, so I don't really care about those. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're starting to get a good amount of food. Believe it or not, I'm actually having power problems, but for that I need wood. Having two sawmills finishing up, producing 16 wood per day is going to be helpful, obviously. Um, you just ran headlong into Doom, so let's back off and let the soldier handle the rest of that. I need to find out what's over here and if this area is blocked off. If it is not, we need to patrol it. Because I think that is my only vulnerable location left at this point. We do have an Executor Tower really nearby. Uh, I don't like those in the beginning of the game. They are only good for the final wave. So I will not be making use of that, I can guarantee. We'll probably be demolishing it as soon as I'm able to. And that is it. Okay, so there's nothing else over here. Okay. Well, um, in the early game, I can definitely get some good choke points here. One over here, and then one over here. And that leaves me with a lot of room for expansion. Uh, so much so that I don't feel especially worried about getting early troops. I do not need to get a soldier center very quickly. What I do need is farms. Need farms very badly. Alright, so the bank's going to go here. That means I can place you along here. Let's go ahead and get those houses a-going. A bunch of them, in fact. There we go. In fact, I can still get more, but for that I need more power. Well, let's wait until we can get some wood. I need to get a mill up and running. I think this would be a very good spot for a farm. Maybe one more over here. Probably nothing good over here. Quarry somewhere in this area. Really good quarry down over here. We can get some more sawmills too if I feel like I'm struggling for wood. But 16 wood uh, per day at this stage of the game is not so bad. Wood is not outrageously important at the beginning of the game. Um, we'll go ahead and build out a Tesla tower right here. Trying to stick a mill over here if I can. Let's see. Anywhere else I want to place one though? No, we're great. No, we're not going to place any mills around over here. There's just too much real estate for me to be placing houses and other military buildings and so on that will eventually get advantages from my bank and my market. We could try planning out for an inn at some point, too. Which is not a bad idea. Uh, I am going to go ahead and expand the Tesla network probably right here. Okay. Mills. Place you right up here in the corner. That's all I can afford until I get a bit more wood. 
So I know for a fact that power is going to be difficult. Having played this map a few times, um, power is really, really rough. You are going to be consuming an absolute ton of it for all of your buildings. More so than you would in the regular game. It's not the end-all be-all, but it's, it's difficult. It is definitely difficult. Um, we could try placing the second row of housing right here instead. Actually, I don't really like that. You know what? Cancel. I know it just wasted some resources. It's alright. I'll see if I can save some space for something else right here. just feels like a waste. I can fit something 3x3 three three in here. I can fit a market in here, actually. You know what? I kind of like that. Yeah, we'll place the bank here, the market here. So to that extent, let's just go ahead and build the tents this way. Okay. Uh, what do I need for the wooden workshop? We can actually build it already. Perfect. Where am I going to place you? Tell you what, I will place you over here. Kind of out of the way. And then I need to get some more mills. We're going to have a pretty good amount of gold generation at the beginning of the game. Just because we got so much gold at the beginning, that gave me uh, all these extra tents. Like, this is, this is a pretty early, really good, solid amount of extra uh, gold. I like that. Gold is usually my bottleneck in this game. Usually. So anytime I can eliminate that, I am feeling pretty happy. Let's see. We want to get a sawmill down over here. 10 is pretty good. 15 is amazing, though. So let's do that. Okay. Uh, any more? Not immediately. Not nearby. So this is looking pretty solid. Let's go for a bit of extra power uh, network over here. Um, I am going to just real quick control the Executor Tower and get rid of it. That way I never accidentally repair this thing. It costs 50 gold per day to operate. And, like, a ton of power. It's just, it's, it's only good in the end of the game. It is never going to be good in the beginning of the game. Except for perhaps the rare situation when you have, like... Absolutely no military to speak of, and they're all coming from an e the east. I don't know. But I don't anticipate that happening. We'd have to screw up pretty badly for that to be a problem. I'm going to go ahead and place down a mill right here, I guess, since I know we can't place another sawmill. Speaking of sawmills, can I place one over here? Still too close. Um, and what's over here? No energy. Yeah, um... This is too close to the other mill. We have to go around this side. I don't think I can afford to get into the mill over there right now. Could, however, go for a bit more food. 15 right there is fine. 17 over here is really good. 18 is even better. Sure, place one there. And then we could go for fishermen. 14, for example, right here. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. I think that's fine. All right, we need to get the Tesla network expanding probably out this way. And... I don't really want to build here because this kind of blocks off a street. But I can build here without blocking my bank in the future. Tesla towers are the only building, I think, in the game where they can build next to things without uh, any consequences. All right, let's get another... One of these mills up over here. I tend to prefer to keep these guys out of the way and in the corners and stuff, so I don't have to think about it too much. Maybe that's lazy or something. I don't know, but I just don't like thinking about it. All right, we need more tents. Let's see. So we're going to save this area for the market, which means right here is acceptable. That's all I can afford for the moment. What do I need? Gold. Alright. Place, place, place. That's all I can get there. So the wooden workshop is done. If I can get enough gold, we'll research the farm. But I'm actually doing semi-okay on food at this stage of the game. Getting the market is always nice. Uh, not just for reducing the food cost. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the food cost of all buildings. But also, every time you go over your stockpile, you sell the excess for more gold. Which is obviously quite helpful. Let's see. 
Do I want to place something over here? Or more buildings? I think I'm just going to go for more housing. So we'll do this. Nope. Dang it. No, 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 no. See, I accidentally double-clicked on my uh, tent and just selected all of them. I could have demolished every single tent I had. I have always thought that is a dangerous thing in this game. It is so easy to double-click and ruin you. So easy. All right, once again, out of gold. Uh, I think I'm going to save some of this gold and go ahead and research that farm since we are now out of food. And there's not a lot of obvious areas for me to get food right now. Could go for a quarry if I get some more wood. No, we actually have plenty of wood. Let's just go ahead and get that quarry going. Four stone there is pretty good. Four right here is fine. Sure, build a quarry right there. Uh, more fish. Nope, don't have the power network yet. Hunting? Uh, I'll do one right here because I can tuck a mill easily enough. Gosh dang, you always need so much gold in this game, though. It's no joke, man. You can never have enough tents. Never have enough population generating all that sweet, sweet cash money. Can never have enough. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. They're lying. Charlatans, a lot of them. I'll place the Tesla network right there. That'll get me a really good quarry. Okay, um... I actually should not have placed that Tesla because I was trying to save up gold for the farm. This is what I'm talking about with um, tunnel vision. Very easy for me to focus on the wrong things. Very easy, in fact. I mean, it's a problem every time you are a YouTuber, right? Okay, so all YouTubers have this issue. Um, you have to be able to split your brain on multiple fronts. A game like this, it plays a little bit like an RTS. It's not nearly as um, intensive. It doesn't require the build order in quite the same way as other RTS games. But you still always want to be thinking and always making sure you're not wasting a bunch of resources like we are our lumber right now. But at the same time, you also got to be making your engaging commentary and stuff, right? Which means you're splitting your brain power, which means you are bound to make mistakes. The YouTuber's curse, as they like to call it. And by they, I mean me, I like to call it. Let's go ahead and get another fisherman's hut right here. You can't uh, place these guys too close together. I feel like you could be trying to move these guys around, look like for the optimal place of, hey, I can get 15 food here instead of 14, I'll move over here. But if the result is you do that too much, and let's say I was trying to place one right over here, and then they were cl just close enough that I couldn't fit one in the middle, then maybe I've actually cost myself food as opposed to kind of splitting them up to be as uh, close together as possible. So generally speaking, when it comes to things like hunter's cottages or fisherman cottages, I'm not usually worried about the optimal amount of food as much as just keep them close together and trusting that a larger area covered will work out well for me. Uh, do you want to go ahead and get the three and three? I think so. I don't have an immediate use for iron and stone, but I'm going to like having that. Let's see. Still can't do any more sawmills there, so let's go ahead and continue expanding the Tesla network. This will allow me to get some more hunting and some more sawmills without any threat from the Zombellinis, so I like that. Let's place a mill up over here for the power. Although we are looking more or less okay on that front. Uh, we need more housing. Let's see. I don't really want to place here because this is going to be a long way to run. This is only a 3x3 three three area. Uh, we've kind of built too many things close together here. There's not a lot of stuff I can build. Go for this. And that. There you go. I think that's the best I can do with that general vicinity. Alright, we've researched the farm. I want to research the market next, but first, let's go ahead and get a farm up and running. Place one in a safe-ish area over here, I think, with 52 food. Seems good. We'll place another one over here. I could do that right now, but I think I'll save the gold. We're very close to getting our markets up and running. Um, but I can't do a dang thing until I have more food. Well, can I build a warehouse? No, I need more wooden stone. Can't get a soldier center until I have more gold to train up an army, but I don't really feel like I need an army quite yet. Plenty of room to expand right now. Uh, let's go ahead and research that market now so I can sell off my stockpile. And we still can afford to get one more farm, so let's just go ahead and do it right here for 44. There you go. Okay. 
Two easy farms there. We'll have plenty more food for expanding. We're actually doing kind of okay on power. So right now, I think it's all about getting extra tents. Is there enough space to put anything big up over here? Yes. We could place a 4x4 four four thing right there. Uh, 3,000 uh, gold or 40 iron. The 3,000 gold is always going to be better. And we are capped out, unfortunately. Yeah, this is a really good spot to place a 4x4 four four building. Maybe an inn. So I'm not going to be placing anything up there. Let's instead go ahead and get started with another row of buildings. Like so. Okay. Yeah. Um, actually, wait. No. The extra stockpile of gold gets dropped right here. Hey, cool. So we didn't waste anything. Well, that's awesome. We actually have plenty of gold coming in now. Do we want to get the uh, food? 52 food here. Seems good. Let's place you there. More farms. Uh, we can get another sawmill. 12. thing is, there's a very... I, I wonder if we could place a farm over here. If that's the case, then maybe we don't want to do that. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit another fisherman's hut here, so I'm going to go for whatever gives me the best value, and that's going to be the 17 right there, I think. Yeah, let's, uh, let's save up and see if I'm able to build another farm over here. Uh, I suspect this is actually a pretty valuable real estate that I don't want to mess up with a sawmill. There is an infected giant on this map, by the way, because we're playing at a high enough difficulty. So at some point, we're going to want to train up a really large army and go and kill that. Because if that thing attacks you during the final wave, well, you're going to be a very sad person. Uh, we could afford to get another quarry up over here. Five right here is excellent. I need to get another Tesla tower. Right here covers everything. Let's go for that. Okay. 70 food now. Uh, 42 food is pretty good. I will place you right here. And a sawmill. I'm going to accept a little food loss and place a sawmill right there. Market is available. Excellent. For that, I need 30 wood. We already have the 200 population that I need to place that. That's going to reduce my food consumption by a very wide margin. Uh, I need to place down some more of these mills. We can place one right over here, I guess. Sure, why not? Of course, I did that and spent some wood right when I needed more wood, didn't I? Yeah. We are generating 31 wood per day. That's a pretty good amount. Uh, I could look at placing down a warehouse somewhere. Like, a warehouse, for example, right here actually would be really good in terms of food and um, production. Like, maybe I don't want to put an inn there. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and focus on getting that market first. Right here. Reduce that food consumption. Give me plenty to work with. Yeah, uh, a warehouse would require a bit more food and... St uh, sorry, wood and stone. We are not producing a lot of stone at the moment. I would like to fix that by generating an extra five right here. Now, some games I've played on this map, this particular map, have been very generous in the stone departments. Like, what they lack in, uh, in food, they will make up for in stone. Sometimes with a ton, like right at your front base. I'm not especially worried about that, but... Do I think that 16 food is worth taking up one farm tile? Yes. Yes, I think that is absolutely more valuable. See, I definitely do not need more farms right now. I think all we need are more tents. If I saved this area right here... A 4x4 four four area, for example. We could actually build the inn. Which will further increase the um, gold production of everything by 10%. Right here. So we'll go ahead and save this area. And then, yeah, just more tents. This is actually a really strong start now. I'm, I'm feeling a lot better about this as time goes on. A lot better, in fact. Um, we just needed to get started. But there's so much building space. I mean, I can build a ton of housing. That's a really big advantage. So much population, so much gold, so early. And we're actually doing pretty good in terms of everything else, like power. That's great. 
Let's go ahead and place one mill right down there. If I want to place down more farms, I'll do one over here. Bunch of tents finishing up. Um, I think we now could start transitioning over to getting uh, military, but I'll wait and get the warehouse for the extra stockpile value. Also increasing production of all nearby buildings by 20% right here. This covers a lot of manufacturing buildings, so this seems good. Okay. We do want to get that soldier center up and running. Uh, now would be a pretty good time to start training up a lot of troops and um, just clearing out areas. Exploring further. Find more goodies. Let's see. We do want to get more of a Tesla network, though. Let's see. If I place you over here and here, that gets a pretty wide range. Could expand both of these pretty far. You're out of wood. Solve that problem. Go here. I do not want to probably have these bottlenecks um, by the end game. They're so narrow that I will not be able to fit any meaningful towers. So zombies will probably be able to kill my... Um, probably be able to break through. Harpies in particular, the fact that they can jump over walls makes them very, very spooky. So I would rather not have to deal with them. Absolutely. I can fit a mill right here pretty safely, I think. Soldier Center, I'm going to go ahead and place you right over here. This actually fits brilliantly and still leaves enough room for the inn. Love it. Okay. We'll just go for more tents. This might be one of the best starts I've ever had. Watch me find a way to screw it up. So you guys need to patrol a little bit further forward. If anything breaks through and hits my house line, instant GG. Well, not instant, but very rapid. You have just enough time to realize just how much of a screw-up you actually are. It's brutal, you man. Absolutely brutal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and research the lookout tower to do some extra scouting and find out what's around this area. I don't feel like I need cottage tech yet. We still have a lot of room for more tents. See, okay, here's a couple guys that almost snuck through. You see what I'm talking about? If that had happened, that would have been game right there. Good thing I was paying attention. Okay, these guys are close enough that they can hear any gunshots. I'd be a little bit scared of my soldier actually drawing a lot of attention. We're going to go ahead and train up an army of rangers. Have you become a veteran? You have. Wow, you've killed a lot of stuff, haven't you? Well, good. That means you're just that much more powerful. Go forth and kill more. Uh, though there are a lot shambling towards you right now. <laughs> You'll be fine, though. You'll be fine, surely. Do not need more food. What do I need? Honestly, more tents. I know. It's so boring. Oh, he's getting more of the tents, isn't he? Yes. No such thing. As too many tents. It is not possible to have too many tents. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and push you forward a little bit more. Have you push forward a little bit more. There's some free power over here. I'm going to like that. Okay, let's see. Um, Wooden Workshop did finish up with something. The inn can be researched. It would cost a lot. Probably more than it's worth at the moment. Do I want the stone workshop? I don't know if I have enough uh, gold production to justify that. I'm going to go for the inn. Just another 10% straight up. When we go to stone workshop, we'll be able to get the bank. All right. All right. This is really, really strong. So we have two rangers already. Uh, we're going to train up at least six altogether. I do not think we are going to end up building any more farms right over here. So we're not going to worry about that. Just place one more house right here, I guess. Uh, we should probably continue expanding the network. Something like this should be fine. I may end up building a quarry somewhere over here for a lot of extra stone production. Now, in most games I have attempted here on this map type, usually 
there has been a village of the damned very early on. That is to say, a zombified village that uh, just wants to ruin your day. Okay, we have found the first round. They are coming from the east. We do not have enough of an army for this yet. Um, okay, hang on. How am I going to do this? The first... Yeah, hang on. Cancel that. Train a soldier. So we need to get our walls up. Absolutely. Um, while you guys are on the way, go ahead and pick up that gold. Thank you. We'll train a couple of you. So... This Tesla Tower is kind of far forward, which will let me get a good... Um, Wall in position. We do not have a lot of time to get these put up, though. We may need a double wall right off the bat. Good news is, because I have a warehouse, we have a good amount of wood stocked up. We do have a bit of gold. So we should be okay. Ish. <sighs> this is a little earlier than I think I wanted. Do I double wall starting off? Yes. What's this? Enemies too close. Working on that. Thank you. Okay. Go ahead and break through. I am more enemies too close to this location. Clear them out, please, and thank you. They are about to spawn. What do you mean there are enemies too close? Wait, which one did I just send over here? Ah ha 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 ha, no. I do not want to accidentally pull off um, from protecting this area because that's surefire to get me killed. Um, okay, so hang on. Why can't I build what I'm looking for here? There's enemies too close. I don't know what you mean. All right, screw it. We have to do this. It's not what I wanted, but we're going to. Okay. Double walling is going to have to be good enough. We are still training up a couple extra soldiers. The first wave at this difficulty is something like, I don't know, 20 or something zombies. Um, we should be able to handle that with double walls. Should. I still don't know what zombie is so close that I couldn't build here. I felt like we had cleared enough out of the way, but apparently not. Order, sir. Uh, what would be worth building is probably a tower right here. So we'll go ahead and get started on that. Towers, of course, uh, are good fortifications that um, give you uh, a little bit more vision, more range for all your units, and of course, uh, some hit points. It's a little harder for the zombies to knock them out of their tower. We're going to go ahead and build the inn. No, I can't. I need wood. 2,000 gold and 100 wood. Yikes. Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. On the plus side, anytime zombies are coming from the east, I'm fairly confident they have to come through this trench. So we can set up a very effective kill zone in the near-ish future. Just waiting for some of that wood to come through. There we go. There it is. All right. Let's go ahead and build up the inn. Right here. Look at that. That's going to give me such a great range on my housing. I love it. I love what I'm going to see there. Okay, here comes the first wave. We are out of food. Right. We should probably consider building more farms. But not this second. Okay, they're apparently going to be up here in this corner for some reason. Fine, though. We can handle it. Alright, into my loving arms. Let's get a lot of XP from my units. And let's build that farm I was talking about. 58 food here. But it's not as efficient in space. Right here should do fine. I don't know if I can justify fitting another farm right here. Maybe? Alright, I, I think they're going to break one wall and that's about it. Which, all things considered, is not the worst. For a first wave, that's fine. Alright. Dunskies, Dunskies. Let's go ahead and get these soldiers up in the tower. Can you please get out of the way? Thank you. And at this point, I'm going to have you guys set up as group number one. Move over here, and once the other two rangers are done, we will use them 
for my kill squad. Uh, I never did set up a patrol with you. Haha, -ha, very risky. Okay. We'll use a couple of early game soldiers, I think, just kind of sort of basic tower defense. Do I want to go ahead and wall this area off preemptively? I don't think we need to right now. Yeah, I could justify another um, farm over here. 38 is pretty good. Just go ahead and do it. And then more tents. Let's see. Can build over here, I guess, sort of. That'll have to do. Where else can I build? Right over here? Sure. Can you please get out of the way, Mr. Soldier? Thank you. I got very confused. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Also need power. Right along here should be fine. Right along here should be fine. You know, I feel like mills ought to have, um, like, effectiveness based a bit on terrain and openness. This cannot be the best place to be putting a mill. The mountain's going to automatically mess up some of the wind and just where that's able to go. Wow, we can really stack up on the walls here now, can't we? Sure, do that. There we go. Lovely. This is going to make for a very effective kill zone. Okay. What else should we be doing? We're doing good on food now. Row of houses. We have a little bit of gold. We can research the sniper tech. But I think I'm going to go for the cottages. Uh, you finish training up your guys. Let's do one extra soldier over here. You are my go uh, squad of seven rangers. Seven rangers. Let's get on over here and see what we can clear out. The streets are a little narrow. I don't know if this is going to become back to haunt me in any way or not. Eh, maybe, maybe not. I'd like to think that I can get away with no consequences. I want to place another hunter lodge over here. For 13 food here? Sure, why not? And can I fit another sawmill over here somewhere? 8, not that great. 10, pretty good. Done, and a quarry for four? Yes. Quarry right there. Okay. All of our basic resources at this point are going to be doing just fine. I'm going to tell you guys to chase. They should travel mostly as a group and find zombies and just kill them. Uh, except I'm actually going to tell you guys to back off for a second, grab the power, and then you can worry about hunting. Always target the highest level if you can. Uh, because if any executives are charging after you, they have enough uh, health that they could become a th big threat. You guys can move forward with your patrol. Just kind of buy me a bit more space. Like this. Another big stone deposit available. Okay. Cottage tech is done. So we'll be able to start upgrading all of our tents if we want to. But again, I have so much space. We should probably consider doing now is go for the stone workshop and start unlocking new forms of tech. Can afford to put a couple more houses right in there without affecting my food supply at all. I don't have a very good iron mine anywhere, and that bothers me a little bit. I can get two iron there, three iron here, and then maybe I can defend it against zombies as they get too close, especially if I do pick up some snipers. But it's not a lot of iron coming in, aside from this down here. I guess this is pretty good. In hindsight, the fact that I have a good stockpile of iron should probably tell me that I'm doing fine in terms of iron. <laughs> eh, whatever. No one said I'm smart. Anyone who told you I'm smart is a dang liar. I got no idea what I'm doing. This is a really good farming spot right here, by the way. I can put a mill right here, and I will. Get that extra power going. Um, I would like you guys to probably just go clear this guy out real quick so I don't lose track of him. That was an executive, which means they are pretty strong. We need to back up and kite for a second. Back up and kite. 
Let's go fly a kite up to the highest height and send it soaring with zombie brains. Is gross. Blood splatter stuff. I don't know. All right, stone workshop is done. We need to place that down. Where should I put it? Can't put it up here. Not enough space. Can't put it up here. Not enough space. How about right here? We may have expanded a little aggressively with my housing, I'm not going to lie, but 713 gold at this stage of the game is really quite good. Like, I, I feel like y'all ought to be a little bit impressed with me. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm not, like, begging for likes or anything. I'm just saying this is really good. It's one of the best starts I've ever had, bar none. I wish you guys were veterans already, because you absolutely could handle these zombies. We're taking more damage than I feel like I ought to. Okay, just kind of move forward inch by inch. When they get a little bit stronger, when they have more experience and become veterans, then I can tell them to chase. Until then, I just don't trust them not to get themselves murdered in every horrible which way. I want to place down a farm. Food is a problem again. Anything else I should be researching? Yeah, actually, the sniper. Sniper, best unit in the game. Easily, best unit in the game. I'm going to place down a lookout tower right here. Let's just find out what's around me, shall we? Don't need another market. Could place down another warehouse. Don't think it's a high priority. The second. Farm. Only 46. I think I expected a lot better than that. All right. Farm goes down. Get 16 food. 17 food. Go ahead and place down that hunter's lodge right there. Uh, anywhere I want to put down some fish. Not this far forward, certainly. And the soldier is drawing a little bit of attention. Let's go ahead and train up a couple extra soldiers since my, uh, command center, or sorry, soldier center has a bit of downtime. Okay, I found a village of the damned. Uh, it's a little close, but honestly, if we train up a large enough army of snipers, we can handle that. The important thing is it's not right on my freaking doorstep. Which sometimes does happen. I think I'm going to go ahead and train up one more of these um, soldier centers right here. I don't need it right now. But I often find that I um, do not leave enough room to be training lots of troops very rapidly if I need them. And then I regret it horribly. So let's just have a second one available. And then if I have an excess of resources, I'll be able to train two snipers at once. Which sounds kind of good. Okay, these are runners. They are a little fast. Kill them. Gonna need a little bit of help here, please, if you don't mind. Thank you. Okay, if we lose any rangers, I'm gonna be very sad. That is another executive. Okay, back up. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna need to start walling off here because we are building pretty far forward. Like, this farm is pretty readily accessible, and we do not have any walls in this area. So, if they were to break through and hit the farm and generate a bunch of other infected, they could get to my house line and end my game. Very, very rapidly. So, I'm looking, I'm looking for any evidence of a really good choke point. Hello, I found evidence of a really good choke point. Right here, there's a wall. Or, sorry, a mountain range right here. So, what I need to do now is build my Tesla network in such a way that I can take advantage of that and start building out walls. That's definitely what I need. I feel like this might be a little bit too far forward for a Tesla center, or a Tesla tower. Uh, speaking of which, proof right there. Alright. Thank you for wasting my time and resources. And we are being kind of swarmed. Now, 30 minutes in, or not 30 minutes, 20 days in, uh, does tend to be a small wave of zombies, not an actual official wave. But you do tend to get some runners coming after you, like they are exactly right now. So uh, this is about the time when if you don't have any defenses, it's very easy to lose the game. Uh, let's please fix that. Get rid of him. Thank you. Okay. 
Yeah, uh, we still have a little bit too many zombies. We're getting far enough away from the main base that these are all becoming runners, and they are quite strong. And if we are not paying attention, they are going to wreck me. My rangers have not leveled up enough yet. All the more reason that I really would like to go ahead and get some of those walls up and are running. Okay, the stone workshop is done. I'm going to go ahead and research that bank I was talking about. And you know what? Since I have some extra resources, I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade a few things to house, uh, cottages. Get a little bit of that extra gold generation up and go running right now. So we're about at our 45 minute point, so I probably can end this video here. Man, would you guys please just get to veteran status already? Like, jeez. I do feel like you guys have taken a long time to level up all the way. You guys should be becoming veterans and elites now. I need that extra damage. Very badly, I need that extra damage. But gradually, we'll clear this area out. I think there might be another choke point right over here. Then I can really wall off here, and this will probably end up being my late-term defense. Because... We're getting pretty far over to the left side of the map. Like, we're building really wide, more than anything. So when the final wave comes, you better believe, like, 2,000 zombies are going to pop up right here. We're going to need some extremely powerful walls. I might want to double wall this area up, honestly. I can accept a little bit of less uh, building space for the advantage of double walling. Yeah, that actually does make a lot of sense. Okay, well, we're going to end this video here. But thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.